Greetings, sir and sirette, and welcome back to Terror Tech with me, Lathrix, and of course, welcome back to our little junkyard. In today's episode, I actually have a very, very simple goal, which I have a feeling may take up a lot more time than I originally intend, and that is to build a craft using the new wheel we just unlocked, the new wheel from the GSO, which of course is called the hub wheel, and no, I totally didn't just forget the name of the thing, but either way, I would like a pure GSO vehicle for once, which will use this wheel type. It's easily my favourite wheel in the game, and I've had very little experience with it. Now, sadly, if we go to the tray station here, you can clearly see we cannot purchase that wheel type, which means we're actually going to have to do some crafting. But thankfully, since we're only crafting a single type of wheel, it's going to be really easy. Essentially, we will have our little crafter here, our little fabricator set to repeat craft that over and over again. We will have this here, the four-pack silo. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a delivery cannon and a refinery. Well, actually, two refineries, one here, one here, and then a a splitter, a filter. So we will filter through any rubber and any plumbite ore, which will then be refined into actual rubber, uh, rubber bricks and the plumbite ingots, which will then collect here and then go over to our fabricator. Everything else will be manufactured, will be processed, and then sent off into the sky to give us glorious, glorious money. Now, one thing I do want to look at if the mission is still there is the next next level of crafty business. Now, oh, actually, this is the storage block. Never mind, I want this first. Although I'm fairly certain that a lot of people have told me that the next level of crafty business actually gives us the auto miner. So all of that hassle we went through in the previous video, we could have pretty much ignored. But because I'm a dum-dum, I didn't really check this out. Also, the Venture is now here as well. Wow, all of the main missions today. Okay, so let's go with the the SCU first of all, and then we will jump on to the others later. So where do I need to go? The other way from where I'm going, that's fine. Now, when I do make our next craft, the full GSO craft with the better wheels, I really want to focus on these. Now, these are the pound cannons. So actually, before we go, one last thing. How do I make a pound cannon? How expensive are these things? Ah, blast caps and plumbonic greebles. I still don't know how to make these things, so... Yeah, a little bit confused there, so let's pretend we didn't look at that, and let's just focus on getting ourselves the new wheels. And maybe killing some things in the process. Hello, bull! Well, that's fairly easy. Ah, little vermin. Hello there, sir. How are you doing? Uh, nothing we really want. Okay, you can go pop. I will get your reputation. That's fine. And now we go over to the next quest. Okay, this is why we need the new wheels, by the way. Oh, good. You found your storage device. Pick it up then and place it on the ground. Like so. Good job. Wait, I'm getting some heat signatures coming in fast. Hello there, you tiny little thing, you. Which is an exact replica of our first build. Oi. Stop it. I wish the corpses would explode faster because they're getting in the way. A very weird thing to say. You're already dead, I can't do anything else to you. There we go. Enemies neutralized. Hang on tight. It won't be long until your SCU is fully powered. And thus, our black hole generator is back online. Fantastic. Finally, we can clean up the place. Ooh, that enemy down there has a repair bubble. That's expensive. You can access your stored blocks whilst in your build beam. Yay! Or even if you're not in your build beam. Try using your inventory. Sure. I would like this block, please. Hold Alt or deselect the current block from grab mode, blah, blah, blah. Okay, there we go. Let's put that there and there. Everything is now fine. Is that it? Are we done? Are we done? Okay, that was a pretty simple quest. Let's get back then. 
after having a quick look-see at this enemy. So let's put this down here. Whoa. Oh, yeah, that little base we stole earlier. Um, you can keep it, guys. You've earned that base. Well done. I have little interest for them. And there we go. Everything can go over to there. I really should put a battery here, shouldn't I, so I can store it before we come back. How do I make a battery? Okay, maybe I'll start making those as well later, but for now, we just want the wheels. The wheels are the big thing because we can't keep on buying them. And that's the big deal there. So, can I buy some batteries at least? At least one? Yes, I can. That's fine. That can go there. Therefore, we can always get some power when we come back. So, next, let's go and find Crafty Mike. Hopefully, we will get some... What are they called? The little conveyors. Since I have been leaving them pretty much everywhere. Since before now, I didn't have a storage device. I'm not really big enough to carry the storage device either. Hopefully, the next craft will be. So much junk everywhere. And this is why we need to start carrying around the SCU as soon as possible. Well, let's see if people were correct then. Hello, Crafty Mike. How are you doing, sir? How are you doing? Have you lost weight? You look fantastic. Been to the gym? That arm looks ripped. Well, I heard a juicy rumor that there might be precious. I kind of didn't read the rest. Think you could help me find one of these seams? So I assume one of these is going to be shiny. Yep, it's this one over here. Hello there. Kind of shooting at Mike here at the same time, but let's ignore that. Slowly but surely. Come on, last rock. You can do it. There we are. We found it. Excellent. All we need now is something to harvest those precious minerals. Mind your head. Where is it? There it is. I won't get hurt at all. Yoink. The auto miner will do the job nicely. Fantastic. The auto miner will extract resources from a resource seam until it runs dry, as we found out before. That's it. Watch the auto miner as it goes to work on that. Right, is that the time? I need to get going. Okay then. Bye, Mike. Thanks for the extra auto miner. They're pretty expensive and hard to make, so. Nice. Easy. Bye, Mike. So next, we need to go and kill the Venture guy, and I'll just take this with me, that's fine. Hopefully not too far away. Hello there, enemy! You are absolutely tiny. And very aggressive at the same time. Well, that was quick. There we go, we can now make Venture stuff. Don't really care, though, honestly. Really not interested in Venture at the moment, so... Yep, it'll be good once I can actually make some more stuff, but hurrah for that. Let's get back then and let's set up our little base so that we can start making ourselves the new wheels. Once we have the new wheels, we can do all sorts of stuff. Although, I do think we need to remake this craft at least a little bit so that we can so, so that we can at least carry more resources. There was about five different things I wanted to say then for some reason. All tried to come out at once, completely negated each other. Um, hello? Oh, you are conveyors. I don't know why you were there, but I do need you right now, so thank you for existing. Throw those on the floor, don't really care about you right now, you can just stay guard. Let's grab all the stuff we have over here, we have at least one refinery and one cannon. Although I don't think we have any, yet. Yeah, we don't have any of the, what do you call them, the who's and the what's it's. Conveyors. Well that's worrying, suddenly lots of enemies converging on my SCU, please go away. And goodbye to you two. Though I will gladly accept that cannon if you don't kill it. Yo, I was even repairing it at the end. Well, at least we got a fair few parts and a bit of experience. It wasn't worthless. You, on the other hand, were worthless. There we go. You can die. Excellent. So, let's set up this then. So, what do I need more of those filter conveyors. I kind of do, because I think I've left them kind of really, really far away. Well, we actually need two, not just one, but it's a start. These slowly do refresh themselves, and I can always go purchase them elsewhere, unless I simply manufacture one. 
which would be really easy. Actually, where do you get a Fibron chunk? I have no idea. Is it a type of crystal? Is Fibron a type of crystal? I really, really don't know. There we are. So, in theory, this should work. The only problem I'm thinking of is that these two could quite easily clog each other up and then end up with some of the blocks going forwards. Although, maybe that won't happen. It all depends on how they go forwards, to be perfectly honest. So, maybe it'll work just fine. Maybe that'll be an issue. We will see as we continue. Although, one thing is for certain, we do need at least one other delivery cannon, since normally they're the thing which slows down everything else. They are the slowest part of this process. And the last thing we want is any of the blocks being left behind. We want them all to be consumed as soon as possible so that things don't start to back up. Because that is when blocks could go the wrong way. So there we are. We have the blocks going in here, they get refined in this line, and then the refined plumbite ingots and rubber get separated this way and put into this, the four-pack silo. Then they will be collected by this until the item is made. And once again, one problem is, this is very small, it doesn't hold all that much, it could get overfilled fairly quickly, but this is just a theory proving thing just to make sure this works so let's go out and let's get some plumbite and let's get some rubber so plumbite is from ore in the ground and rubber of course comes from trees i didn't even realize that was an enemy until it started shooting i thought it was a rock you know you've built weirdly when your craft looks like a rock okay you can go away and then you two. I said you two. Get back here. Your death is preordained. You can't fight fate. But actually, one thing I would like to do is those changes I briefly mentioned to this craft. Well, it's not pretty, but this way we can hold way more to see if we can get this working. So, onwards! Let's get ourselves some plumbite and some... I can't remember the name of it, but I know where it comes from. It comes from trees. It's called rubber. I am that derpy that I just forgot the word for rubber. That is way too many logs, but we do need random junk anyway. Oh, we finished the Geocorp one. Um, oh yes, you are something I would like. Thank you. Actually, that would be fantastic. It's going to be asymmetrical, but... Can't really get away from that. This is going to be really silly, but I would rather hold loads of stuff than not enough. What else do we have? Is that a fabricator? No, a geothermal generator for over there. Okay, I'll take these back. Because this looks functional. And then I'll try again. Eventually, I will get the correct stuff. On the upside, actually, we do have enough stuff. We can at least test this. So, geothermal generator, go away. I do want to try these out, the geothermal generators. You, let's move that so at least it... There we go, at least it looks like it's been placed correctly. You can take these off us, thank you very much. I don't know why I have so many refineries, by the way. Oh, that's why. So, rubber goes over there, like it should do which then gets instantly taken over because this is in need already okay fantastic that does work new missions available that's fantastic don't really care right now though we have other things to do we are already destroying nature and we're only three episodes in i'm so proud of myself there we go let's raise some serious carbon emissions is that it Oh, yeah, that seems like the maximum I can carry, which, to be fair, is actually quite a lot considering the small size of this craft. And that should definitely be enough rubber. In fact, it's going to be too much rubber. What I could do is put down two fabricators. That would alleviate a lot of the problems, or just add more of the silos. Clearly, this is far too small, and eventually, there's going to be a massive version of this which makes all sorts of stuff. Darn it! This is the problem with building next to a trade station. And why I, I need to get this turret online. Was that a mobile... I think that may have been a mobile furnace generator. Oh no! We just gave all the stuff to this trading station, you stupid enemy. I could pick it up one by one, but it's going to be taken back anyway. 
Thanks. Thanks, enemy. But seriously, was it the thing I thought it was? Oh, it was just an anchored version. Darn it, that would have been so good. Okay, back to killing trees. It looks like these two rocks may be plumbite, and yes, they are. Fantastic. Okay, rocks first, tree second. So there's still quite a few things I don't understand about how the silos work and how they interact with our manufacturing segment. So, here's a test. Do I actually need the filter? Is the filter something I need? So there we go, we just gave it a small selection of chunks, some which will go towards this, some which really shouldn't. And let's see if the silo grabs them. Okay, it's grabbed both of those. Okay, it's just grabbing all of them, which obviously is not what we want, so yes, we do still need the filter. Good to know. But it is also good to know that I can grab sideways, which means I can have the silos all the way along here, rather than that weird placement I had before. Still messing around a little bit, I am determined to figure out how this works and its intricate details. And as you can see, the refineries can actually connect to the fabricator. Now, I'm not quite sure what that means. How would these two really want to interact? And by the looks of things... It means they're only going to smelt these two? Now that I'm curious about, and I'm really hoping is incorrect, because clearly otherwise I'm going to have to rebuild this a little bit. Yep, the blue is now being ignored completely. Okay, I understand that now. Actually, that does make a lot of sense. It's just not being used to its fullest potential here. In fact, it shouldn't even be used here. Okay, I actually understand that now. I'm okay. I get it. I get it. So, with how that was working before, we can see we can actually use these refineries as our filters, because both of the items we need both need to be refined, and these will now only accept these two materials. It means those materials will be plucked from the line a lot earlier than anything else. Then later on, we can add some more refineries, which are after this section, which will then be able to accept anything, and then can sell stuff to the two cannons. You see, I am learning, just not very rapidly. Here we are, so this is the design I've ended up with. It's incredibly simplistic, incredibly open-spaced, so much bigger than it has to be. But it's also very clean, it's very obvious what's going on here. So as you can see, we have these three refineries in the centre. We put the raw material here, in case anything is already refined, it will just carry on all the way along to the delivery cannons. The actual stuff which is being refined will go along here, and any plumbite ore which has been refined gets stored in this node. Any rubber will be stored here until called upon. As you can see, we have a lot of the plumbia ingot, because it changes name of course when it's actually refined, and anything else simply gets sold. Really simple, and a way of making a lot of wheels. So that is very, very cool indeed. I wonder how much the wheels actually cost though. Let's have a quick look, see if any are now for sale. Wheel blocks, GSO, nope, still not selling any, so... Right now, this is our only way of getting these wheels, and by the looks of things, we can get quite a few pretty quickly. Already, we've got three, and that's after just one and a half trips to the area over there. Really, we need more rubber, so let's go and kill some more trees. Novice Harvester 2. And we've got Hostiles. Um, nothing I'm too interested in just yet. I'm going to go out and get some more resources to see this work again. Here we go for try two. As long as this works, then I am very happy with the design. It's nice and simple and will continue to work. But the best thing is, we can very easily expand this so, so easily. By simply expanding these two conveyors, we can then have different materials being siphoned off for different creations. For instance, for different types of guns or for the different factions we can find. Although I still need to figure out how we make certain things, like the pre-made stuff, the stuff which is like battery ingot or whatever on earth they're actually called, the wires and stuff like that. In fact, let's have a quick look-see, the stuff like that, the blast caps and the greebles. There's a lot of stuff, I have no idea how we get that. My only theory 
is maybe we get that by breaking down items. So when we get the scrapper, which should be somewhat soon from Crafty Mike, maybe that will give us those weird things. Do I need more cannons? Or is two enough? Um, by the looks of things, two is just about enough. Also, rubber is a lot rarer than you might think it is. It's surprisingly rare from trees. You only get a couple at most, but you get so much wood and other stuff, you end up filling your little inventory space, at least my little inventory at the back here, very, very quickly. Inventory. Inventory. Words. And there's the west, the rest of the rubber. Ooh, one actually didn't go. That's interesting. So, is it actually a perfect split? I didn't think it was. If it is a perfect split, then yes, we are going to need to connect everything else to the fabricator. Which is a little bit annoying, but that's fine. So, was that another wheel we just made? It should have been. Yes, we now have five wheels. Here's something interesting. I've been doing this now for the last 60 seconds. This is actually being recorded after the outro. And as you can see, 90% of the time, the block will be taken by the filter. But sometimes, very rarely, the filter will ignore the block. So I am very curious as to why that happens. That goes in, that goes in. As you can see, it's clearly not 50-50, so it's clearly not just being assigned randomly. There is definitely something to this. I just can't figure out what it is. There we go, that one went as well. Yeah, I can't figure that out. Clearly there's something going on there. I will do a little bit of research, a bit of googling, but either way, it's weird. Another clip technically recorded after the outro, so I do apologize for the lighting changing again. But by doing this, having these little squares, these little roundabouts, this completely prevents any of the material getting past. And I've tested over and over again with all of these on the track at the same time. Many, many times, none of them managed to get through. My only thought is clearly this isn't the correct way to be doing things. Clearly you are meant to allow the fabricator to activate the refineries and other things so that they can be directed. But I like this system because of how easily it can be extended and can be used in the future in addition to the fact it's just so simple. Definitely not the right way of doing things. I will look up the right way of doing things. But I like this, and it works, and now it works 100% of the time, so I'm fairly happy. Well, I'm afraid I've been spending way too much time on this, so I am all out of time. Don't worry, I will be messing around a little bit off camera so I can figure out the best way of doing this. Clearly, this is just my first attempt. It's all over the place, and there are a few problems I've already seen, many of which I've highlighted, which I will fix. I will also go ahead and get ourselves at least 15 or 16 of the GSO hub wheels, so in the next episode we can instantly build our new craft, which will be a little bit more dainty at the back. It will look a little bit less silly. So, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Terra Tech is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching, and goodbye.